What's up YouTube MD14 back here again with some more gaming news. I know it's been a while. I you know try to mix things up, see you know what's what you guys like. It seems like you guys really like the gaming news, so I'm back with some more gaming news. And I got a lot for you coming up this week. But I also have some gaming content as well. Um so I'm still balancing both and I also have some tech reviews as well uh coming out. So I'm all over the place. Tech reviews, gaming news. Uh, game gaming walkthroughs all that stuff, but if you want to see everything live make sure you go on my twitch channel Okay, uh, make sure to uh, check it out twitch.tv slash md14 um, I am live pretty much four times a week sometimes five especially with so many game releases coming out uh, This month October has been crazy Dragon Ball Sparky zero There's uh, of course Silent Hill 2 and everything like that life is strange double exploit There's so many stuff, but I'll love to have you there just so we can discuss uh, some games. Uh, well, one of the games that we're not going to be discussing in the future uh, is a future Prince of Persia Lost Crown sequel. Um, this was tweeted out by uh, Wario64 Wario that led to Reset uh, Era. And apparently Ubisoft has disbanded the team behind Prince of Persia The Lost Crown. Uh, the game did not reach expectations. A sequel was refused. Uh, this also goes into a tweet over here uh, that I'm actually, uh, let me go into this tweet right over here. It's in a whole nother language. Uh, let me just translate that over there. And uh, this is from this, this person right here. They had like a whole YouTube video um, as well. Uh, that, is, that states, I heard uh, the best production, the best production of my life, Three or four times in in uh, in one weekend uh, about the development of Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown. Apparently, a, a hope for another way to create and 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 rehab uh, rehabilitate rehabilitation zone for people burned uh, burned out by uh, Beyond Good and Evil Two. The team was disbanded by Ubisoft. So, it looks like we're uh, Prince of Persia. Honestly, when the game came out in January, it w is even even now and this is just and once again this is my point of view and you may not agree or not but i recommend i highly recommend pr playing place of persia um but uh it's because i consider it i still consider it a game of the year contender at least at least a nominee for and i and like you know i really hope it, it still gets a nomination for at least game of the year will it win game of the year Kind of hard with like Final Fantasy and that, that's out already, and uh, Final Fantasy Seven, and of course they have like Silent Hill. Uh, I mean, would Silent Hill Two count, or or anything like that? Not too sure. But uh, there's other. I know there's other heavy hitters out there. But for me, like I had such a blast playing Prince of Persia, even with the DLC that was five dollars. Uh, huge, huge steal. It is a really, really well-made game, and it's so disappointing to see a team that put in so much work into a game that is extremely fun uh, just get disbanded, especially that the fact that they were looking to be doing uh, a sequel to this game because you play the game, you know. You know, you know, you know if you know. But I also feel like with how Ubisoft structured their releases and like and now and like it now they seem to have seen seen the error of their ways with um keeping the game you know on Ubisoft play yes it, it was available on on other platforms um it, especially like the Nintendo Switch it was highly like like the, the game had like they were the game was kept in mind for like for like Nintendo Switch, um so which that's why you probably seen it a lot promoted for Nintendo Switch, uh, and it runs great on 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 the Nintendo Switch as well. But you want your games everywhere, and we we already know, we we talked about this before, like especially like with how some games are only for Epic Games, like such like Alan Wake and everything. If you want, <laughs> if you want maximum performance and especially if you bring it to the pc just having it on ubisoft play is not is not good enough um and i feel like that kind of hurt this game as well because six months later they brought this game over people like 
they don't have time for the game now or they lost interest they see they see what, what happened with the game and everything they don't have any interest in, in this anymore um and honestly it it it, it 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 definitely hurts hurt the sales uh i understand you don't want to pay the fee for uh the the steam the steam fee uh which is kind of which is kind of ironic because if they like if ubisoft releases like a uh, assassin's creed game in the past uh they will put it on ubisoft play which is their own platform but then they will also put it on epic and don't you have to pay epic so if you are okay with paying with epic why not go where where you know the players are steam is one of the biggest platforms out there there's another platform bigger than steam but it's not it's not it's not your your regular games if you if you catch my drift there's a whole video i saw about that one day on my stream which is why this is why i got to my, my twitch streams uh it wasn't it was it's not your ordinary day-to-day -day games it's special games uh but if you, if you know then you're subscribed to it that's all i gotta say but uh but anyway uh no judgment whatsoever but anyway the point is steam is one of the biggest platforms out there and if you want your product to be successful do not you, you go where the people are and this is the same prime example with what's going on with with x defiant why you know if your player count is suffering why not go to where the people are you know now with with like with x of like, like just for x of x defiant um sake call of duty is coming out soon no one's gonna be like everyone's gonna be hooked on cod right now so did the x defiant boat was missed like that game should have been out wait like if if not the same day of ubisoft like the the same day of release at least like the summertime you know bring it out halfway through the first season have a double xp weekend celebration you know and it's it's just sad to see that it's it's just, it's very frustrating this this the last couple of gaming years has been um a lot of great studios who have been pumping out great games like for example like high fire rush for example and like and then in this case prince of persia lost crown they're producing and like and uh, you know whatever happened to the immortals uh, i wonder what happened to the immortals uh production because like they were supposed to have a sequel as well they they got they got sniped down as well um it's just it's a shame that with you're producing great stuff but then the executives are the one who are bottlenecking your performance and then you have to pay the price and that's just it just sucks. It just, it just sucks to see to see this happening. Um, we haven't heard a whisper about Beyond Good and Evil Two, um, and Prince of Persia is truly is it's just truly a, a gem of a game. And to see it, see this team disbanding, and and then not only that, to know that a sequel was in the works. That's is that's just very heartbreaking these are all this is just uh reports anyway hopefully it's not true but i mean the number the numbers don't lie the numbers don't lie with with uh with with prince of persia uh how's uh, performing on steam and everything there was a bump on steam and everything like that uh but i think it was just a little too late and now ubisoft is is is, is seeing the error of their ways in many fields um with with releasing their games now all their games are coming out on steam now like i know assassin's creed mirage just came out which is which is another odd one because that was a year ago like what are, what are we doing here ubisoft come on just pay the 30 percent fee because it, like it's that if you get no money or you get some of the money you know like and I understand, like yes, there's a fee to pay, and 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 you, and like, but just just put just give the just give the options, you know, for the players the options, go where the go where the people are, you know. So anyway, let me know your thoughts about this. Are you upset that the Prince of Persia team lost Lost Crown team has been disbanded? Are you sad that is no, there may not be a sequel as well? This is once again, this is just reported as well. 
hopefully it's not true uh but for me this sucks because i truly love this series and i wanted to see more out of it as well uh it was what is definitely one of my favorite games that i played this year it's still it's honestly it's still top top three top three for me this games i played this year it's gonna be very hard and especially when like when we myself and my friends were going to uh, on our podcast which by the way check out our podcast the gaming a gaming podcast i'll put a link in the description um we do we, have, we do like a weekly uh a weekly episode about the latest gaming news from uh from some great people in the industry uh when we get to do our game of the year content i wonder uh uh just just for where like for nominations this is probably be one of the games i would let me get nominate so anyway with that being said i love your faces everyone check me out on twitch make here make sure to hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 2k we're so close so close help help a man out help me out uh anyway as always have yourself a damn good one